So we're off drive drive today, but I don't really think that's going to cut it. That's better. <laughs> I had a black one and it was an RT. Then they had uh, the phase two which had like slightly different like it was like a phase. Yeah. Oh look there. Yeah, it's a wrap. <laughs> Still can't get used to They're it. fun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just can't get used I bet to that's it. fun as Popular. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Double plate as well. Yeah, nice. must mag. <laughs> Oh look, the best car here. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's one be the Renault behind. <laughs> Possibly. I think it was. Yeah. It was like, what is that? Yeah. Aventime. You don't see them, they do you? No, no, they're rare. I'm gonna. Do you know what? I'm <laughs> test one for big car. This is what, um, do you remember Top Gear um, did one up, they had to make it faster than a Mitsubishi Evo around the track? Yeah. And yeah, this is what they... Uh, you don't see them now. I got, I got a gift for you, Alex. <laughs> see you later, cheers. Oh, wow. Oh, bloody hell. I'm actually going to parenting class, so I might as well just sit and read this. This is, this is good. This is very good. Thank you very much. No worries. I really yeah. appreciate that. Thank you. Nice yeah. Do you want to say, yeah. want to say hi? Sorry, I've been watching you for years. Yeah. It was you. the, um, the a, oh, I Pimp My Ride. Oh, yeah. Camper Van was my first video I watched. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you so no much, worries. man. That's, yeah, Appreciate love your content. And I've been watching the P1 yeah. stuff. It was Thank brilliant. You. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the, the right. meshes right. bit. Yeah. Literally half its plain half. Yeah. Yeah, they made them after the war, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, just so, um, ah. I didn't do anything. Thank you. 
stage and this is the real you and we're all here with real cars to have a great day so thanks for coming along to be part of it yeah absolutely like most of our job centers around watching view counts on youtube but to see all of you guys actually looking back now it is mental so thank you all for coming see you all the way back on the grassy grassy knoll over there absolutely amazing hello that worked <laughs> really powerful I'm gonna do it again Hello? oh yeah <laughs> sorry small things yeah there's there's so many more of you here than last year which is awesome and we've also got so much more to give you guys so we've got a whole host of other youtubers that have come along and uh, we had a few last year now they're literally spilling over if you want to chat to a youtuber this is the event to come to. So we're going to be doing loads of stage Q&As with those guys throughout the day, as well as the Drive Tribe team. We've got myself, Maxwell, uh, Izzy, and Ben Collins at stake. Um, and then the one I'm majorly looking forward to, this is something new from last year, is Hammond versus Brewer, ah, a Top Gear face-off. Yeah, you've got beef, yeah, proper yeah. beef. The brewer is over there somewhere. And by the way, on that point, it is so good to see so many faces familiar to all of us gathering here at this event. The YouTubers, Mike, this is the TV shows, or Mike's stupid content. There is an MX-5 in there that you have got. There is an MX-5 in that museum with a V10 engine in it. <laughs> Which yeah. means it there exists. Is, yes. But the V10 engine is in it. You can see it for yourself how in it it is. <laughs> It's as much in the car next to it as it's in that car. Um, but there's Oliver's in there, there's some of the cars brought back from Grand Tour. That's the kind of... You will see there are two extra seats there. Throttle House, literally... Oh, they're here! Hello! Please welcome to the stage. The Throttle House lads, on you come. James and Thomas, hello. <laughs> you look sweaty. Am I right in saying you've literally just dropped in Heathrow, you've somehow got here on time? Yeah, exactly. Can you guys hear? 
Yeah, you're good. There we go. Yeah, we literally just arrived. Like, we just parked 30 well seconds done. ago. So you're in prime condition for a Q&A then. Well, I'm out of breath, but... <laughs> well, thank you for coming. Like, the mileage that especially you three have done is absolutely incredible. So thank you so Let's much. As well. Edwin and Will, cheers, you know, you know, whatever. 25 minutes. <laughs> okay, so this Q&A... I want to keep it quite light touch about basically how our world of YouTube works, how we go about our different channels. So I think the three channels we've got on here, they go about car YouTube in incredibly different ways. So I think it'll be really interesting just to hear how you guys go about it. So I'm going to start with the TDC lads. How do you go about coming up with a video idea for YouTube? Just first principles, what happens? Well, I mean, it, I guess it starts with what would be painful to make the other person do. That's genuinely what most of it starts with. It, it would be funny to make Will do this. And then if Will goes, no, I'm not doing that, we have to go a step down. Are you as vindictive the other way, or is it mostly Edwin towards you? Absolutely. Hey, why do you think I got him a crossfire? That, yes. was, <laughs> true. that was appalling. But um, yeah, pretty much. Most of our ideas, to be fair, they just come randomly, just driving down or in a hotel for a shoot and go, what if yeah. we bought a Zafira GSI? Yeah. That would be real. And now I'm left on here. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing to say. I've got nothing for you. I mean, Mike, why am I here? It's OK. I'm back. I'm back. Can we please welcome to the stage not only TV's Richard Hammond, but TV's Mike Brewer. <laughs> Best of pals for now. Yeah. Forever. All I'm going to say, I'm going to read out a newspaper headline it's from the Daily Express, and then I'm going to leave stage and leave you guys to it. The headline says, Wheeler Dealers Mike Brewer claims Richard Hammond forgets he got him the top gear job. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> well, that's it. That's quite a, that is quite a, it's a provocative statement. Um, Neither of us is interviewing the other. We're just going to do this as a straight discussion, and we haven't rehearsed it. We did meet last night. We did meet last night in a bar, but we didn't actually discuss what we were going to be talking about today until this very moment. No. no. So okay, it's, let's nice let's go keep, it's nice to keep it raw. Yeah, and so fr it's still fresh in my brain. So let's go through this. This is quite a big claim. I've been... Uh, it's Top Gear specifically that you... You sincerely claim this. I very much claim it. Yes, you've conveniently forgotten. Have I? Yes. Why don't you illuminate me and the ladies and gentlemen, including those right out at the back, up on the bank. Hello, people on the back. I love doing that. Look, it works. Yeah. <laughs> well, some of this you'll actually be able to verify as well, because you were part of it after me, so you should be able to verify some of it as well. I promise to be honest in my truthful. answers and respect. I will be truthful. Okay. This is, we've never done this, but we're going to thrash it out here now and for you. Go. Right, so I uh, I was doing a show called Deals and Wills on Channel 4. True, I remember. You remember that? And at the end of my Channel 4 contract, I had all kinds of people come at me to come and do TV shows at my TV, uh, BBC. Uh, but hey, one babe, of... babe Station did. Babe Station <laughs> didn't want me at the time, although I had my private little channel on the Square Hill. Do you remember those? Yeah. Uh, on the Square Hill. And uh, I used to get my jugs out and everything, but... For the younger members made... of the audience, he was selling pottery. <laughs> yeah, just, just, when I was just really out. And, uh, yeah, but never made any money at it. Um, but I, um, I met this tiny little company called Discovery Channel that were only five years old, and they were doing gorillas in mountains and people digging the gold. And they come at me and said, we'd like to develop a car show, and it's yours. So uh, we want to develop a car show with you. And I said, that's brilliant. So I signed with my agent at the time, I signed a sort of a contract that said that I promised to do a show with them. Uh, Top Gear at the time wasn't a very good show. Wait, what year is this? We are going to go into this, by the way. You might want to bring chairs. 2001, 2002. Oh, uh, you see, I'm going to... Hang on a minute. No, it must have been earlier. It would have been 2000 when I was sort of off the end of my Channel 4 contract. So Top Gear was off the air? It was off the air because on the first... It, this is the first time Clarkson left, and we had Uncle Quinton. I did. Quinton. Yes, I know. And we I had Kate one. Humble. Yes. Right, you remember Kate, that? Yeah. OK, so at that time, when somebody comes to you and says, would you present Top Gear, 
truthfully, it wasn't that good a show. It wasn't the show that I wanted to be. And I had this other channel saying to me, we would like to sign you to do your own show. So I went along and done a screen test uh, for the, the there was then all of a sudden there's this brand new show with Andy Wilman, Jeremy Clarkson, and Gary Hunter, and there's this brand new show, and uh, Andy Wilman called me and said, look, uh, we'd known each other for years, me and Andy. He said, come along to a screen test. So I went to a screen test in West London, and I can remember there was a Renault Aventine. Uh, there was the Top Gear chair set up, like you're going to read the news. There was a, a, a desk, just in fact the same chairs, and I think the same desk that went on to become on the programme. Am I saying the right thing so far? I am. Uh, so far, I'm not denying any of it. Right, so the Renault Aventine... Like, there were red ants, there were horrible things. I wish I'd been there for that. It was, it was a date, but also it's, I, I'd say it's one of the best videos on the drive channel. It was, it's an awesome one. Next question. Down here.